Hello guys, today we're going to do a video on the Logitech VAST decoder verified by VAST. Now, you can get this service um, by VAST, and you, that's the only service, and it's run by the Optus Network and the Australian Government. Now, to um, set this up, all you have to do is um, basically activate your SIM card. Now, you'll get a SIM card with any VAST box you buy, because all of them are VAST. From there, you'll have a quite a lot of menus to go to. Now, you can register as a traveler, you can register as just for your home address, now you can do this for your home address if your antenna doesn't pick up any of the free view channels or it picks them up but they're pixelated and they cut out all the time. You'll be able to get the vast service, which is great. And you get up to 120 channels and most of them, if you're picking Queensland, they'll all be Queensland and for ABC and SBS, they'll all be Australian wide, which is pretty cool too. So, and you've got a quick menu you can read through and all that, as well as you can record on this. This is the um, PVR ready. So you can plug in a hard drive and start recording. You can plug into up to two terabytes, I'm pretty sure. So that's um, pretty good. You can record all your favorite shows on the VAST service. Now, so when you've activated it, you'll see the SIM card pops out right here. Now to get the SIM card number or smart card number, just pull it out and look at the back and have a look at that number. So we'll just peel the plastic off here. It comes off by the side. And basically at the front of the box, we don't really have much here. We've got, I'm pretty sure that means change channels. And you've got an on button. You've got nothing else. You've got your uh, SIM card slot. Here you've got your LMB in. So you plug an LMB here. You can plug in uh, like an IR blast, and I'll show you what, what that is. You can plug in your internet, and that's for, so you can get um, updates. You can plug in your USB, uh, which is V5, HDMI. You can plug in your audio, and you can plug in your AV cables, and you've got your power. Now on this side, nothing, and there's no other USBs on the box. So that's that. So we'll put that aside. Now we'll see what else is in the box. So we'll look at the first thing. So you get a HDMI here which one is pink and one is a black end. Also, you've got your AV cables. And this is what I was talking about, the eye blaster right here. Um, now, I did put something on here because I broke it by accident. So I have to put some glue there. So I did pull this out because I, I made a video before making this one. And I recorded it. But I had this massive pink line through the whole video. And it wasn't... Um, I couldn't upload that because the quality was really bad. You got your power cable right here. Now, when you have it on, this will turn blue. When you got it off, it's red. Now, if you're in your caravan, you've got this to um, plug into your cigarette um, port so you can watch it while you're in your caravan. Now, I did drop some batteries. Let's just find those. Okay, maybe I'm gonna drop one. And then the second one is right there, and there your remote is. And we don't really have that many features. You've got your numbers right here. Uh, you've got PBR, you've got your guide, you've got your menu. You've got your exit, mute, back, volume, and channels. Also, you've got a bunch of other stuff here like subtitles and much more. So that's that. And we'll just plug those batteries in right now. And then we'll just show you where all the ports go. And then we'll plug it into the TV and see what we have to do over there. Now, I haven't set it up over on the TV yet, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm assuming you would just have to pick your region or something. We'll just see. I haven't actually set one of these boxes up ever before. So it's going to be a bit new for me and hopefully um, pretty straightforward. So the first thing that we will do is this does have an eye blaster. You can plug this one in, but the eye blaster isn't as good, I heard. So what we want to do here is we want to plug in that little adapter which is here, this is the adapter. And when you've got it plugged in, this little green light will turn on. So we'll just plug that in the black port right here. So if you're not looking at what they say, um, just look for the black. Now this doesn't plug in very far. So we'll just get that in there. It's a bit fiddly. A bit fiddly. Keep going until it stops. Okay, it said stop there. And that's all good. So you got all that set up. So then you want to plug in your power. So here, just untwist that. Don't mind that dog. Okay. Let's just plug that in there. And we'll we won't worry about the HDMI because that's pretty straightforward. 
and then oh yeah plus the satellite now i will tell you a bit of information if you want to get one of these and you're not getting any good reception and you have foxtel satellite you can use the same dish the same it's the exact same dish so keep that in mind you won't have to call foxtel telling you you're setting this up you won't need to call up a uh like satellite or internet um antenna provider don't worry about it it will work now, if um, all the channels aren't popping up at the same time, like your channel 9, 7, and all your other local channels, wait two hours, leave the box on. You can turn your TV off, wait two hours, and they will pop up, okay? So they will pop up. The first channels you will get access that come up immediately is your ABC Global and your SBS Global across. And pretty much we're set up here, and there's not much here we can do. So now let's head over to the telly and see what we can do over there. Okay guys, I've just booted up the box and we're just waiting for it to um, start up. So it shouldn't take too long, I'm guessing maybe two to three minutes while it boots up. And yeah, and then we can um, set the resolution, I'm pretty sure. We'll see what options. I'm hoping some pretty advanced options are gonna come on this box because this is a 2018 box, so let's see what it can do. Okay, I'm assuming it's gonna start up now. Okay, that's the brand. Even though it's Ogitech. Okay, yeah, we're on the setup mode. Okay, I was right about the resolution page. So, obviously to do off your TV now, if it's flickering out, you're gonna to wanna to go 720, uh, or maybe even 576. Um, but we're just gonna go 1080i. Just like that. Okay, time zone. Now, this is depending on where you live. And so if you live in New South Wales, do that one. Now, it's weird how they don't have Victoria up with that as well because they run on the same time zone. So we'll just go Queensland. And because I don't have a hard drive, we're not going to worry about that. And then we want to hit OK to tune in all the channels. So that tells you the signal and the quality. Now, the signal is 50%. And as you see, we've got 123 um, TV and 109 radio. That's a quite a lot of radio sessions. So we'll just wait for that. And my SIM cards, are, my smart card's already activated. I don't know why I call it a um, SIM card. Probably because when Fox still had it, I used to call it a SIM card. But yeah, it is technically a smart card. Okay, we're on the info page here. So let's see if we actually have access to one of the channels. Okay, yeah, we have access. Let's just go back. We don't want to get copyright reasonings for any of this. So if we go over to the guide, we can have a look at all the channels we've got. And as you see, we've got quite a lot of local channels. We've got, um, so MBN, if you're wondering what that is, that is Channel 9 based in Gold Coast and Newcastle. So you get those local channels. Now, this is Queensland speaking. Um, I can have a look at all the channel lineup at, in different um, states if you want me to. Um, let me know. I just have to change my smart card region, which isn't very hard to do. You're allowed to do it up to 14 days, but then you have to change it back. Unless you're a traveller and you can leave it there permanently until six months. Okay, so as you see, we've got all, a lot of channels here. Uh, we've got um, Gem, we've got 72 North. Now, most of these are Cairns. So, if you guys know where Cairns is, most of these are Cairns, and sometimes even it goes, it ventures over to the Northern Territory, over to Darwin there. Because um, I know the 7 is Darwin, I looked that one up and I had a test with that a little, a little while ago. And basically this is all the channels right there. So now we're going to head over to the radio and see what we get over there. So you want to just get back out of that. To get the radio, so hopefully you can see it. You just want to hit the TV and then the slash music. When you hit that, I'll just point it at the telly. And... Um, these are all the radio sessions. Now we can open a guide. We'll just open the guide. Okay, these are all your radio stations. Now you do have a lot of SBS and uh, ABC, but you can skip through those. See, now you've got all these other ones like Triple J and stuff like that. 
and you've got a lot of channels. There's over 109 channels here, which that's an amazing amount of channels. Right there. Okay, now we're going to have a look at some of the settings just to navigate you and help you guys um, set your box up. So what you want to do is click on menu. And then depending on what you want to do, we're just going to muck with the settings here. Now if you want to muck with your dish and retune stuff, you're going to need to put a pin in. And the pin is simply 1, 2, 3, 4. Now if you've got a different vast box than this and it's not that, you may need to contact the uh, manufacturers of your device. Now it does tell you what the code is in the manual, so if you do read that, you'll be able to look at that. So if you're wanting to um, set it to factory condition as you're selling it, or uh, yeah, mainly you'd be selling it, or you're having a bit of issues with it, just set it to factory condition. Um, also, you can uh, muck with like the uh, LAN connection and muck, stuff like that dish and you can retune some channels also you can check out the video and recording so if we go over to the video you can muck with the resolution there you can change the screen so instead of having a 16.9 you can have it four point ah oh, it's 4.3 i wasn't sure what that was also you can change the audio so i'd recommend you do that go into the hdmi audio and go adobe digital even though it's, yep. And you can muck with the time zone if you've moved in areas, and that's basically everything there. You can go to parent control as well, you can change a few things over there, and you can go to your system, and this allows you to um, update. So, obviously there's no update available. You'll only be able to update if you have an internet connection in, so you can plug a LAN connection there. Um, updates normally only come a few times, so don't always come. Um, you can reboot, you can check out the software agreement, which we're not going to read all that. Okay. And that's everything there. Um, with the setting, we'll see what else we can uh, muck with. you got your TV guide, and that just basically opens the TV guide like normal, which we're going to back out of that. We'll get back into that. And you can check out recordings, as you see, nothing there. Uh, schedules, nothing there. Plus, I am going to need a hard drive to do that. So, we can't do that. And we can't access that either. So, that's basically everything right there. It's very simple, very great. Um, yeah, so if you've got no reception in your area, this is a great way to do it. In my opinion, it's better than free to wear. You get a lot more channels, you get a lot more local channels, which is amazing. And yeah. So tell me what you think about the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. Catch you guys next time.